What's up, movie crew? So, welcome to the latest Let's Watch. Now, before we get into this, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this channel's Let's Watch a Movie, and if you are into anything media and cinema related, you have come to the right place. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Today, I am seeing the latest A24 movie, Men. Alright, so I'm going into this with mixed feelings. On one end, this movie is made by Alex Garland, who made Ex Machina, which is my favorite A24 movie. And I rewatched it last night just to reaffirm that it is indeed my favorite A24 movie. Not gonna lie, Everything Everywhere All at Once is a good second place at the moment. However, I also watched Annihilation. Oh, that movie was not good. So, this is Alex Garland's third directorial feature. The first movie I absolutely love, and the second movie I absolutely hated. So, I am cautiously optimistic on this movie. But, I'm going to go on ahead, go to the theater, watch this movie and then I'm going to come back and give everyone my thoughts on the latest A24 movie, Men. Alright, so I have just gotten out of seeing the latest A24 movie, Men. Now, I do want something because some probably noticed. I'm a different. If you'd like to know, I tried to watch the movie on Friday, I saw it on Saturday. Be a pin comment down below with video explaining why I did not meet on Friday. Warning to anyone who wants to watch that video. I'm going to leave it at that. So, my thoughts on this movie. Like a lot of other 24 movies that I have seen, it starts off super slow. Like it takes a minute to finally get into things. Then the horror elements start picking up. And it's awesome. And there's something I note in the movie that I'm not sure I was supposed to notice. Her. And unfortunately, I can't really say it without getting a spoiler. But. After where Ellen take place into the part where the showdown happens, this movie just goes into WTF. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like, with everything everywhere all at once, that was amazing WTF. For me personally, Night on WTF. This movie the fact is UTF WTF. So trust it. All right. As a film, it is bad movie. Let me put that get out of the way. Uh, definitely go into this very open minded. If anything from what happened on the set. Anyway. My overall, sorry, I think I love my tripod at home, so I'm kind of holding the camera this time around. Anyway, I don't know what to think of this movie. It was very well made. The lead actress did a great job. There's someone that I can't really say too much on, but he does a great job once you realize everything going on. And this movie is definitely disturbed. Overall, this is very interesting movie. It is not going to be for you, including the A24 part. I'm just going to say it. Now. Some of you are not going to like this movie. 
I do want to give one sort of spoiler-ish thing. There is not necessarily a post credit scene, but normally at the, the A24 movies, you title them and then the credits start rolling. You don't get that with this. I want to say it's a post credit scene. But the end scene card does kind of show up a little bit earlier than you would think. Um, my personal opinion on this movie. When the physical release comes out, I'll probably buy it just because I do have the other Alex Garland director pictures. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to buy this movie right away. Or watch it right away. Because I don't know if I want to watch this movie again anytime soon. It is a weird movie. And this is from someone who owns quite a few weird A24 movies. Um, it is a well-made movie. But for me personally, if I add in what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, my personal pros and cons, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. For the record, I've seen a lot of people praise this movie. So, I do want to say now, to anyone watching this, if your opinion is different than mine, I expect it. And to any of my fellow YouTuber movie review people, if your review is different from mine, let me know either in the comments down below or message me Instagram Twitter, whichever one y'all are following me on. And I will share video on my community tab so people that don't necessarily like my opinion can hear the opinion of someone whose opinion is different than mine. But I am still trying to process my thoughts on this movie. I'm not going to say don't see the movie, but I'm also going to tell you now, being a Nolan fan, when Dunkirk came out, he didn't say enjoy the movie. Nolan said experience the movie. That is pretty much what men is. You don't watch this for enjoyment. You watch this for an experience. So that's pretty much all I got. And as always, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what did you think of the latest A24 movie, Men. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.